Yeah, yeah, Shalom, Shalom. Yeah, this is the book of Jude, verse 24. No, unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, who watch over our souls. Shall have warmed to the Yakim who avoided our sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kodash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 or 2 to you all. Stay strong, stay mighty. So here I'm the brother, the disciple Kosha Banyamir from the branch chain, Great Millstone Barbados. Yeah, this is why we we uh, starting with the head men all down. See, we have a hundred percent truth. We ain't coming to tell you no lies. We ain't coming to confuse you. We ain't coming to um, deceive you. We coming to give you this truth, right? And that is it. And let, and let the elect be sealed because the scripture says we also have a master in heaven that, because we must give an account it's right but i just want to play two videos here right just want to play two videos here so just bear me up on the road um let me see what's going on here just listen carefully huh is these these elamites are calling in these favors and they got these, these cook ass israelites they're at the forefront of it. So watch out for ISUPK. Watch out for Genesis Israel. Even though in this regard, Hassab was correct. You know, he did cut to Zaria. But at the end of it all, they in on it too. And I don't believe any of them are really confused. I don't think that, uh, you know, like Apostle Hart said, he might have a conversation with Zaria. Let me go by a little bit. Let me go by a little bit. Lock it, man. Come on. I see it. You know, big man. Oh, man, man. I see it, brother. All of a sudden, this, this was training a minute, man. Let me, all right, let me, do, let me do this here quick. Eh? Let me do this here quick. All right? Let me do this here quick. And then I can, then I can go back. I can go back to Elder Manatus up by video, right? So let me play this one here. Come on, brother, what's the problem here now? Yeah, because we carry a different vibration, right? We carry the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. I want you to hear this here. I don't know what it's doing so all of a sudden. Right? So lock your man. Just, just bear me a minute. I may go through this over, man. I may go through this over. I don't know what it's doing so all of a sudden. Right? Sellouts, right? So listen here now. That's the spirit you said that was, me and the brother Yashari was just in the Dunkin' Donuts. And this random Jake, he, he was talking to us. And we was like, nah, bro, like we don't do none of that other shit. I'm like, we teach the scriptures. He like, I'll be right there teaching y'all. Uh, it's like, look, she and us, right? We were like, yeah. And he was like, um, yeah, man, I got some homies that's in, that come down here across the street. And he was like, he don't work or nothing. But that nigga got a fleet of cars. I don't know how he got them. But he got him, he was like, y'all can't be born. Y'all can't, y'all can't, y'all ain't the same. He was on that suspension. And it just happened today. That's why I said it's the spirit that you just said that. Wow. 
he said that you all ain't for sale, meaning he made a great millstone. That's what the, the brother there is saying. The encounter that he had with the Jay, the Jay told him that you all ain't for sale because they are men out there that are for sale, right? But the true worshippers, they worship the Father in spirit and the truth, and they ain't gonna take no bribes. I'm glad he got caught live. Uh -huh. Alright? All right. He got caught live. The Lord's will. I'm going to take, I'm going I'm to, you know, use this, this footage. Again, later on. Alright? And they're just a random guy. He said that. He said that dude don't work or nothing, but they got a fleet of cars. Yeah. Hebrews and hell. We call it as balls. Some of us may get locked up, man, but you got to leave. You're not going to go through the same experience. They know who you are, man. They expect solitary confinement, man, all right? Expect it, because if they let you in general pop, they know it's over with, man. It's going to be a wrap, dog. Yeah, the men will start listening. Next thing you know, the whole prison riot. Right? The whole prison riot, man. You are in Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom. I Like, I know you, but you do stand up comedy, and I disagree. I was like, yeah, I do stand up. Comedian. He was like, oh, okay, long story short, it got from that to, I just told him the truth. I said, man, to be honest, me and him teach the Bible, bro. We ain't into none of that. He said, for real, what camp? What? He's like, who y'all with? He didn't say camp. He said, yep. No, no, no. I want you to continue telling that story. Yes, sir. But see, out of the mouth of two witnesses. Uh, right. they, didn't co they didn't coordinate this. Yeah. It just happened. Well, go ahead. That's right. So, long story short, I told him, the brother was like, yeah, we in Great Millstone. He was like, for real? He started listening. The brother said something. He started listening to him. He was like, hey, man, I'm going to tell y'all this. I love y'all. He said, hey, man, I just got out of jail. Hey, all you all you brothers out there that are watching, you need to sound bite this. And, and you need to sound bite both things. And you need, and you need, you need to play this in your video. And for everybody in, 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 in this camp, and, and matter of fact, the whole Midwest has support. Everybody's gonna sound like this testimony. Go ahead, bro. Hey, so the brother started kind of like talking over him a little bit, and I told the brother, like, hold on, because he didn't know that I had turned record on in my pocket when I heard what the dude was saying. The man, so I do have his report. He's Shimmy, I was shy, big man. Cannot be bought nor sold, big man. I'm saying they know the difference. And hey, even within the camp, man, they know that GMS are the ones that did not set out, man. That's right. And what did the post office say? The inscription that says, say, recognize who they recognize. And speedily, I should recognize that recognize who they are in. Our father owns everything. It's not easy for us all. That's right. There it is, man. I'm going to have more to tell you. Y'all got a different spirit on y'all. The capital just told them shit. They not like us. And that was the conversation. Y'all got a different spirit on y'all. Yeah, because they not like us. All right, go ahead. We're going to go into this Ezekiel, the seventh chapter. All right, about the stick. Start at start verse 15. So let me go by the elder Manasseh up by here now. Hassad was correct. You know, he did cut Jazaria, but at the end of it all, GMS has been separate from all these other groups. And for a long time, these different groups have been in the background, you know, doing whatever they're doing over on the side or whatever. And, they, and now this whole push with the community Israelites want to bring this big thing of this big ball of confusion so that everybody gets mixed up into it. 
But as we have always maintained, this is only about the elect. It's not about all the Israelites. And we ain't part of the community of Israelites, and we're not community Israelites. Now you also got these guys, Genesis and Sakari Israelites, both being involved in this, as well as ISUPK. So you got all the big, the major Israelite groups. And I, you know, here I got something going on here. You got all these major Israelite groups being involved in this stuff. You had a debate last week with ISUPK and all uh, the Genesis Israelites, which had that that, that demon Hassad. And he is a demon. Made no mistake about it. All these guys are demons. Captain Cesariak is a demon. Hassad is a demon. Bishop Nate is a demon. Deacon Akar is a fucking demon. They're all a bunch of demons. And, and uh, Sakari is doing right now. They're really ain't involved in it. But they demons too. Headed by the chief demon. Big head uh, Alazar. He's a fucking demon too. So all this confusion is just trying to, you know... Gobble up the elect and mix you in with this damn gigantic stumbling block. And we have told you, brothers and sisters out there, over the you know over the years, we're not under the new covenant. But you're going now. It's just a big, a big mess being caused out. You know now, latest lately, Bishop Nate. On the screen, you see a video from the brother, uh, elder brother Karatazar from GMS Vegas. And he did this video, the everlasting covenant in the Hebrews 13:20 is the sure mercies of David, not the new covenant. And as always, you got a major Israelite or a leader from another Israelite group going off in the scriptures, twisting the scriptures to try to make you think, you know, this or that. And this time it's the new covenant. Before it was Esau gonna come back and fight against us, and before you know, at another time it was something else. We're not gonna have a Jacob's trouble. So. In these last days, these, these Edomites are calling in these favors, and they got these, these punk-ass Israelites. They're at the forefront of it. So watch out for ISUPK. Watch out for Genesis Israelite. Even though in this regard, Hassad was correct, you know, he did cut to Zariah. But at the end of it all, they in on it too. And I don't believe any of them are really confused. I don't think that, uh you know, like Apostle Hart said, he might have a conversation with Tazariah. Hey. If, if that's, you know what I mean, if the Spirit of the Lord have to happen, it happens. At this point, I don't believe Tazariach is, is confused. I don't think Bishop Nate is confused. I think they're all being used. Them 501c3 Israelites are being used to make a gigantic confusion. And you got people on the comment board literally saying that they're confused. See right here? This person, Patrick Robinson, these debates can cause a lot of confusion. The back and forth can cause strife. And that's absolutely right. That's exactly what it is. Now, I wanted to uh, go deal with an argument that was made on the comment board right here. Let me see if I can find it here. It was at the very bottom. And this person is, is a, you got your demons on the comment board, too. And there's a whole lot of confusion on the comment board. People are talking shit, saying all this. So, my question to you is, uh, this person, uh, I am crucified with, you know, you see the name. And it, and it could be one of our enemies or, or whoever. So my question to you, he says, to heart is, are you in the old covenant? And the answer is no. We already told you that. Right? We're kind of, um, we're under grace. See? We're not fully under the old covenant. But ha however, the law is still in, in effect. But we're not completely under the new covenant either because why? Well, we're going to read about it. So grace is, is hold, we're on hold with grace. If you can, if you can understand that the way that I'm saying it, we're under grace, and, and brothers been saying that. I really didn't even want to, you know, touch it too much, but it's it's a big topic going on right now. So I just know, you know. So let me just get this one preset here, right? Let me just get this one preset. I just wanted to show you the comparisons, right, of these groups that are going over there, of these groups that are going over there, and um. You know what I mean? The, the preaching for envy, strife, contention, for the own belly, etc. Right? And you got men, you got the the, the uh, men of great millstone starting with the head men on down, going out there sincerely, right? So this is Dan. Right? So this is Malachi 3 verse 18. Then let me go to verse 17. Let me see what 17 says here. Malachi 3, 
verse 17. Right? Uh, we start at 16. Then they that fear the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, speak one to another. And the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was and the book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and taught upon his name. And there shall be mine, save the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, I never spare them as a man spare his own son that serveth him. Verse 18 is the point. Then shall ye discern, I'm sorry, then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Mosai and him that serveth him not. So you're supposed to discern. You're supposed to pray to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shaykh, that's what he did in the beginning. All these different groups that was up there, it's like, I wanted the raw truth and I prayed for it. Strong's H, 7200, Ra'a. Ra'a. Right? Ra'a. Right? Ra'a. Right? C, literally or figuratively. Right? Inspect, perceive, consider. Right? So like a man. To see, to perceive. Right? To cause, to look intently. Right? Look. Oh, look. Um, with your mind. You got to be spiritual about what's happening around you and with these different groups out there and the preaching for envy, strife, to get the 501c3 contract with the government, right? So they got to do what Esau Eden tells them to do. Remember, the apostles are saying all the time that they got spies, infiltrators, etc. You see? Right? To lead the Lord's sheep astray. So you have to be circumspect. Look intently. You understand? To perceive. You understand? That's what you got to do, big man. You can't be an idiot over here. You see? So yeah, I can close there, man. Right? Well, let's check it in. I'll see it. Is there any more definitions there? You know what I mean? So you get the point. The scripture says um, to walk circumspectly. You see? Oh, Lord, men up there that can leave one astray, boy. They can leave one astray. You see? They can leave one astray. And that's why some of the different doctrines coming out. The Lord told us so don't be carried about with every wind of doctrine. Ephesians 4.14. He told us. He told us that. Um, don't be children tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. With the slight of men. And by cunning craftiness. Whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Shall we want.